Uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, there's a radio broadcast on here. I don't normally listen to Parliament. It's uh, something that drives me insane listening to them all debating and bagging each other. But today, for the first time, I'm listening in. And they're all talking about the same thing, and they're all on the same side. And what they're debating is whether to have a royal commission into veteran suicide. Uh, and it's fabulous that it's got to this point. Um, it looked like for a long time that we'd never get there, but... Um, they're all saying the same stuff too. Thanks to Jackie Lambie, thanks to Julianne Finney, thanks to Heston Russell and to a whole bunch of other people. It's uh, been a magnificent campaign by Julianne Finney. Um, absolute awesome, absolute top kudos to that woman. Um, I've spoken about her before. I have published stories about her before. Her and her campaign. Uh, I'm gobsmacked. I am in awe of her dedication to that cause. I'm delighted that we've got to this point because I feared that if this wasn't resolved in her favour, she would never give up. I'm convinced she wouldn't have. Um, hopefully now, I mean, they're debating it. Both sides are debating the same thing. Both sides are on the same side. Uh, the Prime Minister hasn't said we're going to get the Royal Commission yet, but he couldn't possibly say no now after this. So, well done, Julianne Finney, and everybody else. You got there. Anyway, in the meantime, I've got the radio in my shed. The speakers are hidden up the back there somewhere. Um, I don't normally listen to the radio because into veteran suicides coming you know the sound on here might be a copyright issue but not today it's uh worth well worth listening to it it's been going for hours it'll go for hours more and in the meantime i've been to bunnings and i bought a new router table i was trying to do a job yesterday that got dangerous because I didn't have a router table, so I went and bought one. cost $69, which I thought was reasonable. Uh, without the router, of course, I put my own router underneath, and it seems to be working fine. It's almost finished assembly, and I'll give it a test run in a minute when I finish tightening nuts and bolts. In the meantime, I'm going to finish all my and there should be nothing, no Not some about this at all. And listen to the radio. Let's, we won't oppose the motion. In moment, we should be out here saying. So what I would say is don't put veterans and their families through months and months and months of making us have to come back and we'll do it again and again and again. Just accept that there is now the will of this place. Now, as expressed by a motion passed by both houses of parliament for a royal commission, knowing that this motion is now going to be passed and that both houses of parliament are going to concur in it then now move now do something about it because if you don't and if you don't do it in a timely manner and you put veterans and their families through more stress expect that this will happen again and again and again until you finally do it Deputy speaker i also like to start off by paying tribute to um julianne finney who is a constituent of mine and lives within the electorate of Adelaide. She's been a tireless worker at the, on the front line trying to get focus on this issue. And without her outstanding work um, and others, we may not be here today discussing it. Also, Angela McKay in my electorate, who uh, lost the son to suicide as well. Um, it must be horrendous, horrific, to know that uh, um, something within that service of the Defence Force um, 
brought someone to that point. And you can just imagine as a mother, as a mother, how these people feel. And I think this government owes it to those mothers who have lost sons and daughters to suicide to get to the bottom of it. And the only way we can get to the bottom of it is through a royal commission. Sure, it's great to establish a commissioner, uh, but the commissioner will not have the same abilities uh, and uh, powers as a royal commission. The whole idea of the commissioner is to look at ongoing issues, to develop uh, um, a whole range of things, but you need a royal commission to get to the underlying facts of why this is taking place. Then you fix it with legislation or through regulations, then you have a commission that works under the rules or recommendations that have been given by that uh, Royal, Royal uh, Commission. Deputy Speaker, um, as we heard the member for Melbourne say, we send these people to combat areas. This government or governments of either persuasion, and we're, both sides have done it, where we have uh, uh, declared that we are going into Iraq or uh, Afghanistan, um, and we owe it to those people that we send there that we keep them as safe as possible. And I know our Defence Forces do a great amount of work. They are total professionals. But we also have a duty as a government to look after them when they come home. Uh, I visited uh, Afghanistan uh, on one of the defence programs. I think it was 2000. The question is that the House concur with the resolution of the Senate. Those of that opinion say aye. Those against no, I think the ayes have it.